Being a great comedian is like gorma sabzi, which is a very delicious Persian dish. And you spend a lot of time mixing it and then no one can duplicate what you've done because you put so much effort into it. I wasn't raised Persian. This is something I stumbled upon later in life. I liken it to like going up into the attic and opening a box and seeing all these things that my dad never shared with me. But it wasn't he was ashamed, he just was like, oh, he's not gonna wanna know about this stuff. And I'm finding Noruz, I'm pulling that out. Wow, that's a cool holiday, that's celebrated by a lot of people and that's fun. So now I celebrate more Noruzes than ever. I'm playing catch up. I found like, you know, Persian rugs and what these mean. I found the traditions of Iranians, like when you visit family, you should always visit the oldest first to show your respect and then all the way down during the holidays or anything like that. These are great lessons and traditions in life that maybe we could use more of in America because it's kind of now consumerism and let's go shopping the day after Thanksgiving. Well, Persians probably wouldn't do that. They would rather go visit their aunt than their younger cousins and then the little kids at, at a party or something like that. So I think there's a lot to be learned there. And I would like to thank the Iranian-American crowd and Iranian-Canadian crowd, because I've gone there a few times, for bringing me in and taking me under their wing. I'm kind of like the neighbor kid who doesn't know enough, but they let me sit at the table. But I feel like I've been welcomed and they want me to learn more.